Hey YouTube, this is another video about this late 2006 17 inch iMac. Um, as you may know from the previous video, it has graphics card failure and screen failure. Um, however, because I decided that the casing was in pretty good condition, I picked up a new motherboard for it. So I'm going to do a motherboard swap today. Um, obviously the screen will still be screwed, but it means that I can will actually use the machine. So, let's get into it. Right, well, the first stage with any motherboard swap is, well, shut it down. Unplug the power cord. And let it sit for a little bit just to make sure, just so let the heat escape and the, uh, well, the residual power won't drain out of the power supply by some, yeah. Okay, the screen's already unscrewed and um, it's not, nothing's together on this machine. The motherboard's still screwed in though. Alright, so I'm going to unplug the screen. Take the camera down. Right, unplug the screen. Unplug the LCD inverter cable. Right, now I should just be able to lift the LCD off. This is because it's unscrewed. There we go. Now for the motherboard swap. Right, first thing I'm going to do is lie a shirt down, or a cloth, or in this case a shirt, because so I want to preserve the condition of the iMac, which is, it's actually in amazing condition for its age. It's very, it's pristine white. It hasn't, it's not covered in scratches, which is good. Right, lay this down flat, and then lay the iMac down flat. Right, adjust the camera. Right, I've never actually done this before on a 17 inch iMac. I've done it on a 24 inch iMac and two 21.5 inch iMacs, and it should be a similar procedure in this machine. Alright, for this, bring out my tray of tools. I'm going to need a Torx T10 screwdriver, which is here. Torx T10. And I think that's all I'm going to need at the moment. Is it a T10? Yep, it's definitely a T10. Right, first things first, anti-static precautions. First things first, let's see if I can find my anti-static precautions. <laughs> right, I can't find my anti-static Right, I can't find my anti-static precautions, so screw it. Alright, well first we'll start with removing the RAM. And that's how you remove RAM. <laughs> if you're an idiot. Right, let's take the starter cable off. If I can get it off. There we go. Screw it up through there. Always have a container to catch your screws so you don't lose screws. Let's see if I actually have a container anywhere. That'll do. <laughs> Right, I'm going to start with removing the speaker here, because that will be over screws. The iMac is going to have a conversion done to it, so that it has a screen without lines. Now this should just lift out. unplug this connector here that will be the other speaker so I'm just going to peel this tape off use hands unplug that connector there we go pull this wire out of the way unplug the connector for I think that's either the infrared or the bluetooth there Right, well, I'm now going to remove the motherboard screws. There's one here, one here, one here with a little piece of grounding metal attached to it, so we don't want to lose that. Very important. One there.
one there. There are usually quite a lot of screws on a system like this. Disconnect the, that's the Bluetooth there. Disconnect the Bluetooth antenna. Disconnect the Wi-Fi antennas. Disconnect the power button. Disconnect the fan. Disconnect the other fan. Right. Let's see if there's any screws up here. Nope. Disconnect this cable, whatever it leads to, probably temperature sensors or something. Disconnect this one as well. Hopefully my head wasn't blocking the entire view there. Disconnect this one. There we go. Remove this, which is just a little cover for the optical drive starter connection. Now I'm just going to sweep over and have a look, see if there's any other. Yes, there is one there that I missed. That's connected there and needs to be removed as well. Now this new motherboard doesn't have a CPU or any cooling, so I'm going to swap them over from this. Right, now I should be able to... Oh, it's one of these. I now have to remove the optical drive first. And that... Now, as I said, I've never done this before, but on the other models I am actually just pull the optical drive back. You know what? Maybe not. Right, I'm going to spend a few minutes with this, figuring out how to do it. Right, after some gentle shouting, <laughs> I have managed to move the optical drive. Probably not the correct way, but I don't care. So, now this motherboard should be able to lift out. There will be cables underneath it, though. Right, let's have a look. We have everything coming up on that side. You know what? As I said, I haven't done this before on this model, so. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the speaker and the fan on the side. So they look to be obstructing it a little bit. I also have a clean of everything in here because it's quite dirty. Look at that dusty glory. glory. Here's speakers. Two of those. Right, I should be able to lift the motherboard out. Something's obstructing me that I can't see. Power cable, maybe? Oh, there's a piece of tape down here that has to come off. There we go. Now I should just be able to... Oh, what's stopping me this time? All the ports have come out. That cable is disconnected. No, oh, I just wasn't putting enough force. Right, now I'll just connect the weirdly placed power cable. And there we have the old motherboard out of the chassis. Now I'll swap over the bits and we'll install the new one and see if that fixes the graphics card fault. Right, reassembled everything onto the new motherboard and I'm just going to chuck it in quickly, see if it works. I've also replaced the thermal paste on the CPU. Um, if it does work, I will take it out again, clean all the vents and uh, all the fans and then it will be good good as gold and it will be up and going it will need, obviously it will still need a new screen but it will be better than needing a new screen and a new motherboard because that was um, most sane people would have just chucked the iMac out but I'm not sane so I just, you know it was only 10 bucks for this motherboard it was just convenient that it was, there was one on trade me because I've never even seen a motherboard for this on trade me and then all of a sudden right when I needed one was. Right, let's see if I can put this in without totally destroying it. That needs to go about there. That needs to come over there. That needs to go down. What is stopping me? There's always something. Ah, that's what it is. A couple of, a couple of ports, rogue ports. Yeah. 
and there we go that is that reassembled oh, well no that's that in so now all I need to do is secure the screws back in